Hello, I'm Channa Bankapur. I'm going to discuss my solution to the lead code problem, basic calculator two. It's uh, today's daily challenge in lead code. The problem definition is uh, we need to evaluate a simple uh, arithmetic expression. The expression has uh, some non-negative integers as uh, upper ends and uh, four uh, you know, binary operators for addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, and division. Right? All the operators are binary operators. That means they take two operands and then operate on them. Um, anyone who has studied compiler design as a course must have uh, studied an algorithm to, to actually evaluate such expressions. Right? So we already uh, know that algorithm. Uh, generally, it involves in the first stage to convert an infix uh, uh, expression to postfix expression. So what is an infix expression is uh, normally whatever we we take input here, which is human readable. So three plus two uh, star two is an infix uh, uh, expression. Let me take an, a, a bigger example to illustrate the method I'm going to I'm going to discuss. Suppose we have uh, input as 23 plus uh, two into say nine divided by five uh, minus seven uh, into two. Uh, this is a pretty long expression, uh, which is good enough for explaining the method. A, an equivalent postfix expression is uh, there should be an algorithm to convert that. Let me just explain quickly. Uh, so the postfix expression, what does it do is uh, instead of having operands on the either side of the operator, we're going to have operands first followed by an operator. Right? That's why that's why it is called postfix. Uh, so the equivalent one is going to be 23 followed by two and then nine and then star. The reason is um, this multiplication should be done before uh, addition. That's why two into nine should be multiplied first. So we have two nine star. And then we are gonna have five and then division because division also is done before the addition in this case. And after that, uh, we're gonna do plus because that uh, should be done before the minus here. By the way, plus and minus both has the same precedence. Um, but if they appear, both of them appear, we are going to uh, uh, operate from left to right. So plus appears first here, so we're going to operate that first. It's called left uh, left to right associativity, right? So after that, we are going to have uh, seven, uh, but before you know negating that, we need to multiply seven into two. So that's why we're going to have two and then star and then minus, right? Uh, so this postfix expression is generally not so easy, uh, readable for humans. But this is actually very easy for computers to evaluate. Let me show you that. That is generally the second stage of evaluating an expression like this. So it uses a stack. Uh, the stack is mainly for the operands. Operands and operators are not stored on the stack. So the way it works is we parse the post postfix expression, uh, say starting from say 23. So whenever we have a uh, uh, an operand, we are going to just push it into the stack. So 23 is at the bottom of the stack. And then we got two, two, so two is also pushed into the stack. And then we got nine, nine is pushed into the stack. Now we got a star, which is for multiplication. So what we do is we pop the uh, pop out the top two operands from the operand stack and then operate on them, uh, which is going to be nine into two is going to be 18. That result, we're going to push it back into the stack. So 18 is pushed back into the stack. And uh, after that, we get five. So five is another operand. So we're going to push into the stack. And then we get uh, this division operator. So again, we're going to uh, pop these two operands, 18 and five. So 18 divided by five is the result uh, because it's division and integer division in this case. So the result is three. So three is pushed back into the stack. So after that, we get plus. So uh, for because it's an operator, we are going to uh, pop two operands, which is three and 23 in this one. And 23 plus three is going to be 26. So 26 is pushed back into uh, into the stack. And then we get seven. So seven is pushed into the stack and then two and then we get star. So because it's an operator, we need to pop two uh, operands. So seven and two. So seven and two, seven into two is going to be 14. So 14 is uh, pushed back into the stack. And then we get a minus. So uh, we are going to again uh, pop these 14 and 26. And 26 minus 14 is the way we should do it. So 26 minus 14 is uh, 12. And we are going to push 12 back into the stack. Now we are uh, done with the postfix expression. And uh, if the if the whole expression is valid, 
the operand stack is supposed to have only one value and that should be 12 or that should be the result which is 12. So by the way, this answer is also 12. If you uh, evaluate this uh, using our, our you know, uh, from our primary school knowledge, uh, the way we are going to evaluate is so it's going to be 2 into 9, which is 18. 18 divided by 5 is going to be 3. And uh, so 23 plus uh, 3 is going to be 26. And after that, 7 into 2 is 14. So 26 minus 14 is going to be 12. Right. So that's uh, that's correct in this case. And this method works. Right. This is the standard algorithm which works in two stages. First stage is infix to postfix and postfix to the evaluation right so evaluated uh, expression but uh, this method is good for uh, even more complex expression with more operators and uh, uh, more data types for as operands and even operators could be left to right associative or right to left associative all of those things are involved there but here it's a very simple scenario we have only left to right associative operators and only four of them all of them are binary operators and operands are also very simple Right. That's why I'm going to use a single stage method, which is essentially this method itself, but I'm going to club into one method that is easier for me to code. So that the method uses again two stacks. The first stack is identical to this operand stack. It is going to look exactly like this one in the end. I, we can we can compare them. But another stack we're going to use is is an operator stack. Right. So let's see how does it work like work. We are not going to convert this into postfix expression. We take the uh, infix expression itself and then we do it in one shot. See, uh, the rule is something like this. So we start with the infix expression. Whenever we see an operand, we are going to push it into the stack. So this rule is very similar to the earlier rule. But when we get an operator, so plus is an operator here, we look into the operator uh, stack here. There is nothing. If there is nothing, we are going to push into the operator stack. So the, the reason is, uh, we don't want to operate right away. The reason is, first of all, we may not have got, uh, we, 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 there should be another operand to get it later. And another reason is, uh, there could be another operator which has higher precedence than this and that should be done first. In this case, it is, it is true because uh, we should be multiplying first before actually adding here. So that's why we are going to push that plus into the stack. And then we get uh, two. So two is an oper operand. So I'm going to push into the stack. So on top of 23, then we get uh, star, which is for multiplication. See, uh, when you look at the operator operator stack, there is plus. So uh, multiplication should be done before plus because it has higher precedence. So that's why I, I don't have to worry about you know um, uh, adding now. So I'm going to push star into this one. So as far as possible, I'm going to delay these operations because I need to get another operate operand for you know, multiplication, right? So that I'm going to do it first. So now when you get nine, I'm going to push into the stack. Now when I get division here, which is a slash for division. So when I try to uh, push into the operator stack, what happens is I see star there. And now what if you compare star and division, both has the same precedence and uh, star should be multiplication should be done before addition because that appears first right in left to right order. So that's why if I push division, that means I'm, I'm, I'm doing division first before uh, multiplication. So that's the reason I'm going to pop this multiplication uh, operator out and then do that operation and then get rid of that, right? So essentially I'm evaluating star because the operator operands are also ready for that. So I'm going to pop this multiplication uh, symbol out of it and pop two operands and do the operation. The result is going to be 18. So that 18 is going to be pushed into the stack here. And now uh, the division operation is uh, has higher precedence than plus so that can safely be on top of plus. So that operator goes into the op uh, operator stack. Now, uh, after that, we see five. So five is uh, safe. We can just push it into the stack. Now, when you get minus here, minus has lesser precedence than division. So division should be done first. So now is the time to pop and then complete that operation. So I'm going to pop this division and five and 18. 18 by five is three. So three will be pushed into the stack. Uh, right and then look at minus so now i'm supposed to push minus into the operator stack but at the top of the stack we have plus here so plus and minus both has the same precedence but it is left to right so plus plus in a way has higher precedence than minus in this case because plus appears before minus so that's why i need to complete that operation also before pushing minus into the stack so i'm going to pop plus out of the stack and two operands 3 and 23 and operate them which is good the result is going to be 26 
So 26 is pushed into the stack. And now there is there are no operators in the stack, so it is safe. I'm going to push minus into the stack, right? Because that will be done later. Uh, we don't have the other operand clearly. Uh, so and seven is another operand, so seven is going to be pushed into the stack, and then we get star for multiplication that has higher precedence than minus, so it can safely go into this uh, operator stack. We get two, two, so two is pushed into the stack, and we are done with the infix uh, expression, the whole thing. So now look at this, whatever we wanted to evaluate earlier, we have done that. But now is the simple, uh, you know, operand stack and then operator stack. Uh, all we need to do is just, up, uh, you know, uh, operate them in the order uh, uh, the, the stack actually poses. So what we're going to do is now uh, we, uh, as long as there is an operator, we need to op operate on two operands here because it's a binary operator. So we pop the star out of it and two operands for that, which is seven and two, and uh, operate on them, which is gonna be 14. So 14 is pushed back into the stack. And look at the operator stack, there is still one more uh, minus, so I'm gonna pop it out and then take those two operands, 26 and 14. So 26 minus 14 is gonna be 12. So push 12 into this operand stack. And now look at operator stack, it is done. So because there are no more operators, we are done with this. If the expression is valid, we are supposed to have only one operand in the operand stack and that should be the result. So the top of the stack, uh, top of the operand stack is going to be result, which is 12. See now compare the operand stack we have now here and the one we used in the earlier two stage method. They look identical, right? As in the way we did uh, the, the order of operations are also identical, right? So this is the method I'm going to use, which is much simpler. All right. So let me uh, show my code how it works. Um, so the code is little lengthy here, but uh, it's kind of you know very simple to understand. So uh, if you look at here in the beginning, I have two stacks, one for the operand and one for the uh, operators. So the first for loop essentially is going to parse through the whole infix uh, expression, one symbol at a time, uh, and um, and then basically if it has to operate. If it has to operate, it's going to operate uh, as uh, as we discussed. Uh, let's see actually how does it do. So uh, if you get a digit. So we need a, we have a number and it could be multiple uh, characters. So that's why we have a while loop inside here, which is going to get the whole number. So num is going to be the number uh, in terms of integer. So we are going to compile the whole all the digits and then make a number out of it. And that is going to be pushed into the operand stack. So when we get a uh, number with we, we have to just you know push it into the stack. Uh, if you get an operator, so the uh, if you look at the input constants, it's either the digits which composes a number or operators are a space. space. Space is like useless here. So if it is not a space, it has to be an operator. Um, so this is basically for the operator. So now for the operator, I, we need to get the precedence first. So the precedence of this one, I'm using just you know, 0, 1, because there are only two kinds of precedences here. One is uh, uh, multiplication division has higher precedence, which is 1. And addition and subtraction has lower precedence, which is 0. So uh, now. In this case, look at the while loop here. As long as the stack is not empty, and as long as the current precedence is lesser than or equal to the precedence at the top of the stack, we keep operating it now, right? So which is which has higher precedence, so we should we should be we should be operating it now. So that's what we do in inside the while loop here. So take the operator, pop the operator out, and then pop two operands out, and then do the operation, perform the operation. So which is uh, I have an helper function here. Uh, which is a simple one. It takes an operator and two operands and does the operation. Uh, and then that result is going to be pushed back into the operand stack. Right. So once we are done, uh, we are going to push the new operator new operator into the stack. Right. This is as usual. Right. So once we are done with the whole for loop, that means we have passed the whole, uh, you know, infix expression. So there might be a few operators left out in the operator stack. So as long as the operators are left out, uh, you do these operations, right? So take one operator out of the stack and then two operands out of the operand stack and then uh, does the operation and then push it back into the stack, which is similar to the while loop we had earlier, right? So uh, here there are no other complications. As long as there is an operator, we keep doing it. And when you come out of it, as we have discussed, there should be only one operand in the stack, operand stack, uh, which is the result. So I'm going to take it out. I'm not making sure it is valid or not. So because they, they have guaranteed that uh, the expression is valid. 
so i'm not checking for any other uh, error cases so i'm just returning the value right so this should work uh, um, as explained right let me submit the code and, and show you that it is working all right so it has accepted and yeah so this should work so if you have used uh, the two stage method uh, uh, in fix to post fix and then evaluate uh, using you know stack machine uh, let me know that in the comments or if you used any other methods which is uh, uh, which is non standard method um, that is also uh, something and i would like to see right please share them in the comments below all right otherwise uh, please like the video and you know subscribe to the channel and keep solving a problem every day and thanks for watching